it again, RK Rot Rods. Um, I need to work on the hood for the GTX. Uh, the, at some point, the cart hit something in the front and uh, pushed in the grill and the hood. So it's all boogered up. So we cut it open. Let me show you. So we had to cut into the peak and try to pull it back out because there's an inner structure and an outer skin. And I'm probably going to put a lot of filler in this, just making it look good. Uh, eventually, I'd like to get a different hood. I kind of like to have a six pack hood, but right now, this is what I got. So, this is what I've got to work with. So, it also didn't sit flat across here where it would close on the grill. It was, and it wouldn't lay down. So, we welded a plate. I don't know if you can see that across there to kind of pull it back down flush. So I need to finish welding this and uh, I think I might strip it down and just epoxy it, put some fiberglass in that nose and then uh, you know the uh, car itself has the we put the stripes on it the two black stripes so I'm gonna have to do some paint work maybe some Fotina stay tuned so for some reason somebody cut a big inner structure section out also so I had an old junky 69 cornet hood so I cut this area out of there and kind of made it work and then here's that uh, thicker piece of steel I welded on here. Originally I had cut this down the center trying to relief the bow and the hood and it helped a little bit but not much so we went ahead and welded this thicker plate on here to give us a straight kind of pulled the bow out of it. But you see what I'm working with. She's She's hurting. Okay, still working on this 69 GTX hood. It's pretty rough, I think I told you. I think it's like somebody walked across it. It hasn't been taken care of. And it was hitting the front, so now we're hitting top levels of butchery. And I'm putting a bunch of filler on here to sculpt her up. So she looks okay. A lot of rust to get off of there and then we're gonna probably build it all back up and patina paint it like the rest of the car like I said this hood is uh, pretty bad it's not rotten it's just bad but it'll work for now stay tuned I've got these inserts for the hood I want to do those in black because they'll be where the stripes are and then they have these aluminum plates that go in the vents because it's not an air grabber hood. And I'm going to do those in red because i got to put some red back on the grill. There's kind of a red pinstripe. I think that'll look cool. So I'm going to rattle can these and get them ready. And then I have to clean up the 440 in these and throw them back on. Okay, these are the 440 emblems and they have the, like the reveal around it and in between was all black probably when they were new so what I did was I'll just spray them with the black which I did and when that dries I'll take some uh, lacquer thinner on a rag and I'll just try to clean off the raised part of the numbers and it'll look like they did when they were ish there's a little before and after see it was all painted black and I just took out uh, some lacquer thinner on the rag and just wiped off the top just kind of you know, a little bit of rubbing real lightly, and that's what you get. Okay, so those pieces are ready to rock as soon as I get the hood done. See how it just kind of pops with the black around there. I think the red will be cool. You see how this is ribbed right here? I'm thinking about once this is all dry, I may just come back with a sanding block and sand the tops and just that's aluminum, so it'll just be like a little silver 
lines. I think that would look cool, kind of vintage hot roddy. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I got my road cut sticker. Got to have that. Okay, I used some uh, OSPO on the rust. It kind of converts the rust to a paintable product. Um, and then I washed it. And then I kind of spot primed everything. And now I'm going to use a little Scotch Brite pad because there's a lot of nooks and crannies to get into. And it'll be good enough to shoot a fresh coat of green on it so it's clean when I open the hood. I just want it to look halfway decent because it's all painted, you know, inside the hood. So I want it to look kind of pretty like that. Well, I've got the hood back on and I trying to recreate some patina on the hood because I did some body work, of course, in the front. So I put some green back on here and some gray primer and some red primer underneath. I'll probably, when this cures, I'll sand through some of this and then I'll have to, uh, see I left it light in some places so I still have the surface rust and other colors bleeding through and um, then I'll uh, let this cure and I think I'll wet sand it a little bit and you can see it's it's got a lot of hail ends and stuff and it's pretty rough um, come back and do the black here and here um, and then uh, sat and clear the whole car. So we're getting close. And then I'll have to put a Plymouth emblem right there. I found a used one on eBay. So that's coming. So we're getting close. All right, so I got it masked off to simulate the Roadrunner GTX hood stripes. Just put some black down. But I'm gonna leave some of the original patina. I'll probably sand through some of that. I'll let this flash off and then we'll see if it needs more black. Well, I finally got the hood back on after the whole time I've had this car, basically. Uh, and I did the correct dome style hood pins because all my Mopars have to have the hood pins. So all that's left now is to lightly scuff the whole car and I'm going to sat and clear it and call cosmetics good, I think. That'll be awesome to be done with that.